Good afternoon and welcome to Bishes RV the Quad Cities. It's Pete with you here once again. Hey, today we've got Grand Designs Momentum. This is model number 21G. This is a 2023, so it's relatively hot off the assembly line. And this pr presentation comes to you compliments of Bishes RV of the Quad Cities. Hey, let's start where, well, you know, where we usually start, right on that aerodynamic swept fiberglass front with the embedded LSD lighting on there that is way cool at night. Of course, it doesn't look like it right here, but that's because we're under daylight conditions. Anyway, over to the tongue. We've got the power tongue jack that's going to be complete with the uh, docking light on there as well. We've got all kinds of spaghetti works back here. Well, that's because you're going to be, uh, you, you'll want to probably hook up two batteries on there. In addition to the fact that you do have the solar charging kit uh, installed on this unit, plus the gen set. Well, anyway, just trust me, the spaghetti will all work out. Over here, 20 pound LP tanks, 20, 20 pound LP tanks in the deluxe molded easy access top cover carrier. This is a slide out floor plan on the 21G. We'll take a quick peek at the offside here. We're talking about an unloaded vehicle weight of 7,223 pounds on the hitch dry 1059 pounds and your gross vehicle weight rating would be in the neighborhood well it's going to be exactly 11,000 pounds uh the reason i was going to say in the neighborhood is that you're going to be within striking distance of a well equipped or uh, a well endowed half ton truck otherwise three quarter ton you're going to be in good shape hey look what we got here this is going to be the 4,000 uh, kilowatt Onan gen set installed right on this particular unit. It's ready to go on this particular unit. Okay, coming around over past here, we've got, well, down underneath, you've got your sewer connections, but I'm going to actually take more interest in what's in behind here. Magnet grab catches on the hatch covers there. And this is going to be a unified dock and control center, complete with battery cutoff switch, GFCI protected electrical outlet plus black tank flush valve work with the configuration chart right on there. And you've got your filler and um, city water connection plus your exterior camp shower on there. And as always, especially since it's a toy hauler, the camp shower, well, unless you're in a nudist colony, you don't really use it as a shower, but it's great for washing off the mud off of the toy when you're coming back or bicycles or even, you know, sand off your feet at the beach, what have you, it's really handy. All right, windows on the sides of the slide outs too, and they're full functioning windows as well. Exterior ducted vented range hood, 30 amp electrical service with a twist lock cord set. And the cord itself is 25 feet long. Tandems underneath, we're talking about nitrogen filled radial tires on the deluxe aluminum rims on this unit. Those are Goodyear tires, by the way, Goodyear brand tires, uh, by the way. And over to here, all right. Here, we're talking the fueler, the gas station, and that's gonna be connected to a 30 uh, gallon tank, 30 gallon capacity fuel tank on there, the filler for that's on the left, and the pump switches down below over towards the right. The fuel dispenser, if you will. Okay, this is the slide down rear access roof ladder with the apparatus on the top. You grab that up on the top and away you go, gives you quick easy access to the walk-on crown roof. Okay, party time. We're talking as Party Central here. Well, let's open up Party Central. You know what? I forgot to throw open the Generation 2 doors in the back. We'll take a look at that from the inside, though. Okay, has the full party surround deck on there. This, they just get better and better. This system on this one is just super duper easy to manage. You set up with one person, zip wop boom. It's really a terrific party deck on there, and the surround is just very, very manageable. This particular unit features the dual second awning, the auxiliary top mounted awning on there, plus the cargo loading LSD lights that are underneath there, or party lights, whatever you want to call them, is way cool. Now we do have the G-Class under unit LED light kit on here. It's kind of hard to tell because as I say, we're in the showroom and it's under daylight conditions with the lights on it, but there is lighting coming in from underneath there all right, as we look up over on the campsite here, electrically deployed awning, 12 volt awning, and the ballpark of 16 feet, I'm gonna guess. You don't wanna double check me on that, of course, as always. 
Uh, up above, exterior speakers for your entertainment system, which is on the inside. We'll talk about that on the inside in a little bit. Plus that awesome LED lighting, strip lighting in behind it there. Four frame mounted integral stabilizer jacks on here. And down underneath, we do have the tanks on there. Tank capacity, by the way, 96 gallons of fresh water capacity, 74 gallons on the gray, and 39 gallons for black tank capacity. All right, here we've got our three steps, three aluminum steps, fold away staircase, leads you right up and into the main door on the unit. Fold away custom, or the uh, deluxe D assist entry handle there and you reposition that when you're gonna be in transit. Exterior TV connections there with coax connections, plus another GFCI protected electrical outlet as well. Now, this pocket right here, it's a pocket, yeah, just wait, hold on. With a motion activated light on it and a magnet grab catch on the door hatch, and it is ventilated in here, so it's going to be heated. And there's your tire link control right there so you can monitor your tire pressure remotely from the cab of the truck when you're on the fly for example okay this would be your inverter control right through there this unit does come equipped it does have the option with the inverter on it and uh, by the way too this also includes the solar package up on the roof obviously we're not gonna be able to see that from standing right here but this dual 200 watt panels Plus that 2,000 watt inverter right there, the 50 amp charge controller as well, two dock ports and Bluetooth module. Wow, that's a mouthful. Check this out while we're talking about that. It is super duper tall. Why? Well, because they can. What do you put in there? Well, I'm kind of thinking if you have a diner with tent poles, there's an idea, skis or what have you. It depends what you're into. Uh, anything that's tall that needs to be stored that would otherwise be stored in a horizontal pod very simply and easily stored very conveniently in this well engineered vertical pod on the front of the unit okay time to step on to the interior with another reminder that this presentation is coming to you compliments of Vicious RV of the Quad Cities alright motion activated lighting that includes the one light that just popped on as I opened the door up well you probably didn't notice that the interior on this particular unit features the silver maple interior decor silver maple interior decor other decor options may be available just simply inquire regarding that availability hey you know what i promised you that we're going to take a peek at party central here because i forgot and i had the three seasons porch shut for you there and this is way awesome a three seasons porch door if you've never had one before they are so cool you can operate it just like a regular window so you can shut that or otherwise, you have your screen on here. Ta-da, open it up, zip, pop, boom. And if you really want to open it up, like when it's time to load the toys or unload them, you just simply push it open like that, and away you go. Come to think of it, I'll open this one up too. Now we can take a peek at it from this angle with the three uh, generation two doors flung wide open. All right, now I have the Happy Jack bunk system in the deployed position here, so you can have both sofas set up there plus the table the table folds up and can be stored easily up above on the upper bunk and that would be up here i don't have time to monkey with the upper bunk for you but you can see the tangs for the ladder right there this upper bunk will slide right down it'll stop approximately there and you use your ladder hooked onto the edge and of course the sofas will flip down flat so you've got the equivalent of double king beds on the happy jack system really a flexible great system on it up above there's our air conditioning system now please don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure it's a 15,000 btu coleman mach uh fully ducted ac unit on here now speaking of the the uh happy jack system i'm going to draw your attention we're going to swing around we're going to be kind of flying all over the place on this particular one here's going to be a remote start for the gen set obviously and a fuel gauge for it up above too there's the magic switch that'll retract and extend the happy jack so that you can reconfigure those bunks set them up set them down do whatever you want with them there systems monitor panel all sorts of other electrical uh concerns on there as well as your slide out controls and the awning controls remember you got both on it's got two awnings on there too flat screen hd tv and down underneath here is your am fm 
and a Bluetooth capable sound system that's on there with USB access as well. And don't forget, this is by Rockford Fosgate. It does have the Rockford Fosgate upgrade on this particular unit. And that's the, uh, that's the sub right there for it. Way cool. Wow, like I said, we're going to be bouncing around all over the place on here today. Let's talk a little bit about the Euro-style barrel chairs. Give you a quick peek of those there. And you can set those out on the deck if you wanted to, for example. The possibilities are almost endless. All right, here we go with the recessed mounted sink. I'm going to roll the sink cover out of the way for you there so you can see the stainless steel recessed mounted sink. And this with the high-rise faucet with the spray attachment nozzle on it right there. There we go. High output three burner Furion range top. And it's with the glass cover on it. We'll slide that open. Remember that the range hood right up above is exterior ducted. So it does lead straight outside. Lit oven knobs below. And when it's on, it turns red. And so does your hand if you have it on the burn. Never mind. Anyway, down underneath is the oven. It's with the oven light too. I always point out the oven light. Well, there's still a few units out there that don't even have an oven light. I don't know. Anyway, on over to the refrigerator. This is going to be a 12 volt refrigerator. And I believe it's in the ballpark of nine and a half cubic feet. Uh, maybe I may, I may be wrong. You have to double check me on that one. Or maybe I'll double check myself on that one. Aha, uh -huh. I am wrong. Eight cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. There we go, straight from the, anyway. Uh, eight cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, let's see, we covered everything over here. Let's talk about everyone's favorite room. Yeah, here we go, the hangout. That's gonna be your marine grade foot flush stool. That's a China porcelain stool, by the way. There's the lavatory comp uh, accoutrements, I guess I'm trying to say, up above your medicine cabinet. And the dual form shower goes all the way up. And with the skylight, as you would expect, up over, it's over there somewhere. There we go. And don't forget the vent. And another vent over here in the bedroom. We got a lot of vents. Okay, thermostat over on this wall there. Here's your queen sized bed. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see. Egress window provided in behind the bed. Now that AC that we spoke about does have the racetrack ducting system on it. So you do have an outlet there and one over here in the bathroom too. Just wanted to point that out to you as well. One of many features you'll find inside a Grand Design Momentum. Okay, over to here. You've got your converter module in there with your breakers as well as the DC fuses. Plenty of outlets provided over here, plus a USB charge over towards the left, whereby you can charge up your phone at night. Closet, well, okay, the closet right over here is a shirt closet. TV backer is provided on this wall. Makes it very easy for you to add an optional bedroom TV. That's an option you may want to explore going forward. And I bet you're wondering, what does that bedroom look like from over here? Well, let's find out here. You know what? We'll even go to wide angle and let you see that. Quick, easy access all the way around the bed. At least up until that point there. Makes it easy to change your bedding, etc. So we're talking about a lot of accommodations inside a relatively shorter, uh, uh, smaller size toy hauler. Let's see. Smaller footprint unit, that's what I'm trying to spit out. All right, there we go, microwave oven up over on this side here, and I'm running out of things to say in here. So I think we should probably think about wrapping things up in here. There are several packages on the unit. Remember again, the uh, this particular unit features the luxury interior package, the G-Class exterior package, the G-Class cargo garage package, the G-Class insulation package as well. And don't forget, once again, a little reminder that we do have the Solar Plus package. We talked about that earlier, right? Okay, I think we've covered everything inside this 2023 Grand Design Momentum Toy Hauler, model number 21G. Again, it's a 2023 unit. This presentation comes to you compliments of Bish's RV.
of the Quad Cities.